welcome to my very empty apartment because I am moving out. Um, I got the van back yesterday from the windows. They look awesome. I can't remember if I said this in a past video or not, but we decided to go with boat windows. We saw one or two other articles about people doing it, but not really anybody in the van community is doing it. The reality is, is everybody's building vans right now. And that means all the parts that you want to build a tiny home in a van are sold out. So, and not to mention RV windows and van windows are like $300 a pop. I found boat windows on Amazon for 60 bucks. So we decided to go with it. We had a great guy who helped us up in Tarpon. If you are Florida local and you want a good recommendation for somewhere to go because you are building a van, um, let me know and I can tell you who it is. But yeah, so he actually put in the windows and we did two side windows, a cool really, um, it's a circle port window for the back. And then we also did um, a skylight in the fan. So we put all those in and we picked it up yesterday. So I have the van back. We're working on plumbing and electric this week and then it's really gonna be plug and play once we get the flooring in and the walls it's gonna be dropping things in there and getting this thing going um i'm stressed but i'm trying to get it done today is i believe the eighth and i want to be out of here before thanksgiving um the eighth of november um i'm stressed i just left my full-time job today i had a soft moment in the car where i started freaking out and crying because it's scary um, being on your own, um, being your own entrepreneur. I'm my own boss now. I have to have accountability for myself. I have to make sure I get up and get what I need to get done in order to make a living and live the life I wanna live because as much as I'm living van life and that cuts like the apartment rent expense and all that kind of stuff, um, I'm still gonna have the car payment to pay, car insurance. Um, I'm gonna have to pay for my electric and water. It's it's still a tiny home in there and I'm still living in it. I still have to eat. So it's not just a free for all. I don't want anybody to think that I just went, oh, I'm gonna quit my job and live in a van and everything's gonna be hunky-dory because it's not the case. I still you know, have to live like the rest of society. That being said though, with everything going on lately, <laughs> living in a van and not talking to anyone sounds, but um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. Um, but yes, I did have my breakdown today. I know I seem like I'm always fine, but it's scary. It's really scary, um, but I'm pushing through it and we're moving on and I'm excited. So I really only have two and a half weekends left to do this, um, but yeah, we're working on it. I have not, as I'm filming this right now, I have not even announced to anybody that I'm doing this yet. I'm going to be putting it on Instagram um, hopefully by Tuesday next week. I'm hoping, I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided, but once I put it on Instagram, I will be creating the YouTube that you are probably watching this on right now. Um, and that's gonna be a really big step for me because I've never really done video and I'm still learning. I even set, I set it up on a tripod today because normally I'm shaky walking around trying to talk to it and it's not going well. I should probably get a video camera or start filming on my nice camera, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on, um, how the van life is going. You know, we're just building. I'm so excited to show it to everybody. I just think it's gonna be so cool. I mean, I have hopes it's gonna be so cool. Um, with Jess helping me, she's been fantastic and I've learned so much and like, I feel like I'm more knowledgeable of a person now and I can't wait to share all of the van life wisdom that I've learned with you guys and hopefully get to see some of you decide to try it too. I don't know why not, we can't leave the country so we might as well, right? But um, it's kind of where I stand, it's getting dark out so you're about to lose me light wise, but that's my update, stay tuned. So here actually is one of the boat windows that we placed on the side. Um, this was just a standard boat window that I got off of Amazon that was $60. You can see we reinforced it with um, wood and actually the person that installed the windows, he made sure that the nails were facing in so that um, no one can break into it or take the window off and get into the van for safety precautions. Even if they did try and take it off, only a little piece of plastic would come off, the window wouldn't actually be open. So they're safe and cannot be open from the outside and they're secure. We decided to go with two of these windows. Um, they're actually really high up, so no one from the outside could see in unless they're like seven foot tall, but I can see out and they're placed conveniently um, within the kitchen area. 
This one was just a fun one. We decided to do a circle boat window just because it was unique and I hadn't seen it on any other vans. This is what it looks like from the outside, but essentially it's the same kind of reinforcement and same kind of screwing in as the ones in the kitchen. This one is on the back door, so then I can actually see out at night um, if I want to, but we'll be putting curtains on all of these windows. The next thing we need to talk about is the fan. He installed the fans the same way that um, he installed the windows, but you have to be really good and sure that it's thick in there with silicone and it's not going to have any leakage. I got this um, fan off of Amazon and I'll make sure that I link it for you guys so you guys can figure out where to find one as well. Last but not least, my favorite, the skylight. Um, this will be right above my bed, so I'll be able to see the stars at night, which makes me super duper happy. But yeah, that's exactly what we're doing with the windows and how everything's laid out at this moment. I'm really excited to get past this step and move on to more of the stuff that I enjoy more, which is the aesthetics of it all and not the mechanics of it. So after all the window craziness, we actually finally got the divider down. We had to take it to an auto body shop because we didn't have the tool to get the middle piece. But once we got the middle piece down, we were able to take it off ourselves. So I'm going to show you all how that looks now and um, show you what it looks like without that giant ugly divider in the middle. <laughs> friends we got the divider down um, and we are officially putting in the sink and the toilet's gonna be over here I'm trying to show you it's not in yet but toilet's gonna be over there sink fridge we're working on all of that we are still on our time crunch but yeah today is build the fun stuff day um Dean is also bringing out the fridge right now to put in so we can actually map out everything but basically we're gonna be able to know where everything goes by the end of today We've got Dean over there carrying the fridge. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. You don't think it's going to fit through there? No, there's a wasp. Oh. <laughs> the fridge is cute. I think it's a great fridge. Isn't it so cute? Nice little blue color. Dirty, we need to clean it, but otherwise it's cute. So that's kind of where we stand right now. Um, the next video um, I have, we'll be talking more about woodworking and the actual building of bed frames and stuff like that and cabinetry. Right now is where we stand. We have um, a carpet nailed down and the cabinets are built. Um, the bed is pretty much built. We just have to build some support rods down and we're building more and more shelving. So that's where we're standing right now. Currently, we still are on the plumbing and electrical track. It's been a nightmare. That's gonna be a whole separate video. But I just wanted to update you there and I will keep you updated as things continue on. Thanks guys. Bye.